In this tutorial video, I will be showing you how to complete one of the mandatory steps, which is to set up a payment method. In this video, I will be showing you how to set up Stripe. So, click on Stripe. Make sure that this is enabled. This will turn on the payment gateway on the checkout page. Leave the title and description as it is. These are already set for you. Now, scroll down to the section, Webhook Endpoints. You can ignore these fields. Focus on these fields instead. You can find these details in your Stripe account. So, go to Stripe and log into your account. You will be brought to the home page. Then, on the left tab, click on Developers, then click on API Keys. Under the tab Standard Keys, you will see Publishable Key. Note this down, you will need this for later. After that, click on Create Secret Key. This will create an API key. Then give the key a name. For example, Wholesale2B. Then, click on Create. In my case, I already created an API key, so I will not click on Create. But after you click on Create, you should see this. Remember that the key is only shown once. If you lose it, you will have to create another. After you have note this down. Go back to the Developers tab, and click on Webhooks. Then click on Add Endpoint. Then paste this link in the first field. You can copy this link in the description of this video. Change this part to your website's domain name. Now, for the description section. Copy the text in the description of this video and paste it. You do not need to change the version. In Events to Send, click on the drop-down, then type Charge and select the first option that pops up. Then click on Add Endpoint. In this case, I will not be creating it because I have already done this. But after you click on Add Endpoint, you will be taken to the Webhooks page that we created. Then find Signing Secret, and click Reveal. It will show you the Webhook Secret Key. This is only revealed once, so note it down carefully. Then go back to the Stripe Setup. In the Live Publishable Key field, enter the Publishable Key. This is the first key I told you to note down. In the Live Secret Key, enter the API Key. This is the second key I told you to note down. In the Webhook Secret field, enter the Webhook Secret key. This is the third key I told you to note down. And then finally, you can choose whether you want to show the payment form inside the checkout page or not. By default, this is enabled. Here, you can type a descriptor limited to 22 characters. This will appear on your customer statement in capital letters. Leave Capture Charged as enabled. If you enable this option, users will be able to pay using Apple Pay or Chrome payment. They can use these payment methods if this is supported by the browser. Then in this section, you can customize the button type, button theme, button height, button label, and button label format. Then leave these options as it is. Then click on Save Changes. After that, you have successfully set up Stripe as a payment method. I will show you how to set up the other payments in separate videos. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video for future tutorial videos.